guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm back with a another Lush haul two in a row I mean I'm doing good aren't I <laughs> so this one is just a basic Lush Australia haul I did include a couple of older limited edition items and such uh, that I did purchase online just to add into the video um, I will have another Lush Australia haul um, and I think I'm buying another limited edition product off eBay yeah I did I bought one today um, and there might be another one coming so I'll just add them in that video as well for you guys so that'll be kind of exciting so let's get into it I'm gonna just get the two sort of limited edition slash ones you can't really get any more kind of products out of the way because I know they do a little bit less well on my channel when I talk about older products I know you guys really like talking about newer products or current products which is you know fair enough so yeah I'm gonna get them out of the way so this is the snow fairy uh, body scrub now this has only been released uh, for lush kitchen and I believe this was a December um, item or it might have been November I'm not 100% sure just going based on the manufacture date but I will let you know when I do my formal review because hopefully fingers crossed this will come back for Christmas 2021 I don't know that for sure don't quote me on that but I would love if it did. Um, I have already used this off camera. It is really, really good. I love it. I think it's fantastic. Very similar texture to the Mamma Mia body scrub and the orange body scrub, which are two of my favorites. Um, and that is what it looks like. Also a little bit coarser. So it could be quite similar to Rub Rub Rub. Don't want to tilt it too far, but it's got a beautiful pink color. <sighs> so good that beautiful candy pink color i know a lot of people are sick of snow fairy and i i'm kind of sick of snow fairy too sometimes but i still love it it's very bubble gummy sweet fairy floss candy floss kind of scent if you are unfamiliar with snow fairy and it is traditionally a christmas scent so there will be snow fairy stuff this christmas 100 there always is uh but yeah i love this body scrub i think they did a really good job on it it's not overdone um it's perfect in terms of scent not too much not too little they did a good job on it and this is a discontinued product this is the hair custard hair dressing this is meant to be sort of like a styling product um they reformulated this in 2018 around that sort of time period uh lush went through sort of a huge transition from egg products to being completely egg free and hair custard used to have eggs in it they got completely rid of that they replaced it with aquafaba which is a chickpea liquid uh, and is commonly uh, used as an egg white replacement uh, in vegan cooking um, and also uh, something else that is a vegan thing let me think of what it is silken tofu that's it so they have used silken tofu in some of the products as well to keep, give that thickness of texture as well because silken tofu is different to traditional tofu that you would get if you went to sort of like an Asian restaurant or something like that. Uh, silken tofu is a lot more soft um, and sort of lends itself more to cooking sort of desserts and things like that whereas the firmer tofu is the type that you get when you get it grilled or added to a pad thai or something like that. So yeah so this hasn't been used a whole lot. Um, I'm just really interested in it. I didn't really have much of an interest in this at the time. This was made uh, March 2019. I believe they discontinued this end of 2019. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I, I'm just interested in it. And this is the vegan version. So I will let you know what I think of it um, in case it does come up for sale somewhere and someone uh, is looking to buy it. So yeah, I'll just add it to my catalog of stuff. Okay, so let's get on to some of the all year round products. You can purchase these uh, all over the world, I believe. So yeah, all good. So the first product we have, hopefully this is in North America. I'm not sure if it is yet. This is the Sleep Massage Bar. And this very recently came to Lush Australia. Unfortunately, the Sleepy Dust Dusting Powder still unavailable in Australia. So I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, the smell is so good and the design is just beautiful. I will have to just put this down because I am sort of getting a little bit onto my hands because the temperature is a little bit warm in this room uh, with all the lights on. Um, and it's meant to, apparently the, the design is meant to simulate um, being asleep, like someone lying down and being asleep. So I'll leave that up to your interpretation. I think it just looks like some sort of Japanese art or something like that. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Um, so the sleep scent 
scent uh, is from the Sleepy scent family, and it is sort of like a lavender, jasmine, uh, oh, not jasmine, lavender, lang lang, and vanilla. Yes, no jasmine. Uh, and yeah, it's just a very nice, well rounded lavender scent. If you don't like lavender, you're not going to like it. If you don't like floral scents in general, you're probably not going to like it. But it's a nice one. Uh, it's a brand new product. They've never had a massage bar in this sort of lavender scent before that I know of. I believe they had some massage bars in the older times. I don't know if they had lavender in it um, that did get discontinued. So if you know anything about that, feel free to let me know down below in the comments, um, especially those of you who've been with Lush for a while, because I love to hear your comments. But yeah, I love the smell of it. It is quite a nice scent. Um, not too strong, but it does have a punch to it. So it's sort of it's present. That's the word. It's present, but it's not being loud and shouting out. The scent's perfect and spot on, in my opinion, but I do have to try it out for you, so I'll let you know when I do. Next product I've got for you is the Enchanted Eye Cream. I believe this is the only eye cream that Lush sell at the moment. Once again, someone correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but yeah, I have tried this before in the past, and I didn't love it. Um... I didn't try it for a long time though. So now that I'm a little bit older and I wouldn't say the lines are starting to appear, but I definitely notice my eyes are a little bit more, I, I would say more sunken than usual. Is that, is that the right term? I think so. You know, I am noticing, even though I'm only 26, I feel a little bit older than 26 sometimes. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird. You, you think you're going to be young forever and then the years start coming up and you're like, oh, Jesus, all right. So, yeah, I'm going to be interested to see if this makes a difference because I haven't used an eye cream in a while. I used up my ColourPop one ages ago, my fourth Ray Beauty slash ColourPop one, and I just never repurchased it because I don't order from ColourPop very often nowadays. So, yeah, I'm going to add an eye cream back to my routine and I'll see what it does. I will do a proper month review on it, I think, for the eye cream. I think it deserves it. So, yeah, just keep your eyes peeled for that. Next product I've got is the Tea Tree uh, Water Toner Water. Uh, so I did do a review on the Aroma Water. Yes, I think that was what it was called. Aro Aroma? Aroma? Something like that. Uh, so, yeah, I am very interested to give this a go. Not the biggest fan of tea tree, but I don't mind it. Uh, it's got grapefruit and juniper berry as well. Interested to give it a go. I might do an on-camera one for that as well, like an on-camera on -camera demo. My goodness, I it is getting late at night, but I'm going to soldier on and I'm going to show you all the products. Uh, so we're just going to keep going. So this one is the Vanishing Cream Facial Moisturizer. I really want to get through all the facial moisturizer reviews because that's pretty much all I've got left in terms of the all year round stuff is the lip balms and the facial moisturizers and some other bits and pieces. So once I do all of these, I'll pretty much be done. There is one more Lush order, like I said, and then after I do those reviews as well, I'll pretty much have all the all year round stuff done unless it's something I really didn't want to review, which there's a few of them out there. Um, so this is saying it'll give you some matte skin. So that's a good thing. I'm guessing it's more for the oily slash combination types. I do have combination skin. I can get oily in parts. Um, that's the cream you're looking at. It's quite a light texture. I don't want to tilt it too far. Sorry. Um, I would call it a milk color, milky, creamy kind of color. Hmm. Very light smell. It's got that sort of traditional herbally, slightly sweet smell that Lush products tend to have. Smells a little bit like honey. Hmm. I think this will be good for oily and combination skins just because it smells kind of herbally. So that's interesting. And also it, it said the word matte on it. So yeah. The other facial moisturizer I picked up is the Skins Shangri-La. Now this is an old school Lush moisturizer. Uh, and this one... Okay, it takes your skin to a happy land. Okay, wheatgrass, seaweed, vanilla blend. Okay, fair enough. Um, hmm. Doesn't say much about skin types. The one thing that kind of pees me off about Lush, and when I did briefly work there, I briefly worked there a couple of years ago, um, the thing is that they don't believe in skin types, which I think is silly, because skin types are sort of how you 
figure out what is best for you. Um, based on the ingredients, I can't really tell you what sort of skin type it would be for. Seems like quite a well-balanced moisturizer. I'm guessing sort of normal-ish skin. Let's see what the texture's like. Oh, the texture's thicker. So maybe even dry skins could get away with this. So, hmm. Okay, this has got a definite sweetness to it and a little bit of a floral smell. I prefer this smell over the vanishing cream. The vanishing cream smells a little bit more herbally, like I said. Hmm, maybe this is more the normal to dry skin moisturizer. Hmm, looks interesting. I'm excited to give it a go. I'll definitely, I think I'll save this one for a little bit later on just because it is a thicker consistency. And in Australia or in the Southern Hemisphere in general, we are going to be going into winter soon. So when I do my reviews, I'll probably do that sort of later on, just keeping it all under control here. <laughs> and I did get a Dream Cream sample. Uh, I love the Dream Cream body lotion and I actually am going to compare the Dream Cream to some body shop products. So that comes in really handy for review purposes. So thank you very much, Lush. And the last two products I got, you already know from the thumbnail, uh, I got the Rose Lollipop Lip Balm and I also got the Lip Service Lip Balm. So now I've got all the lip balms to try out for you. Uh, the Rose Lollipop is meant to be florally fragranced. Well, it is rose, so let's see how we go. Hmm, okay. So it's got a rose scent, but there's definitely like a citrusy, sherbet -y kind of smell. Hmm, there's almost like a lemony smell to this. Interesting. I will definitely get into the ingredients when I do my review. I have sort of been a little bit slack with the ingredients on these last two unboxings just because I wanted to get these out as quickly as I could for you. Um, so I'm not going to talk about ingredients just now. Uh, and the Lip Service Lip Balm. Not sure what this one is. I think this one's a little bit of a milder one from memory in terms of scent. Yeah, this is a mild smell. Uh, it's got sort of like a nutty, almondy, sweet kind of smell. Maybe I'm just imagining things now. Hmm. It's a very light, pleasant smell. There's nothing wrong with it. So, yeah, that's nice. It's just a nice, normal smell. That's sort of the one that you would get if you're like, hmm, I don't know what one I would like to try. I think lip service is probably the best one to go with. Yeah, cool. So that is that Lush Australia unboxing. Uh, like I said, there should be another unboxing coming later in the week or maybe early next week. Depends on when I can be bothered filming it and when it does turn up on my doorstep. Uh, so, yeah, I will have some other moisturizers. I'll give you my first impressions on them, sort of give you my thoughts on it as well. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what those moisturizers are like. My skin is fairly tolerant of moisturizers and things like that. I can sort of get away with most things. So it'll be interesting to see. But things that are too rich, I can't get away with so it'll be interesting to see what the skins Shangri-La does I don't think it'll be too rich for me but who knows we'll have to wait and see so I hope this was enjoyable for you um let me know if you've tried any of these products what your thoughts are um I love to hear what you have to say maybe you've got a different perspective than I do and I enjoy that quite a lot as well because it gives me things to think about when I'm reviewing and um that sort of thing so let me know if you do have thoughts on these uh, let me know if there's one that you really want me to review because uh, I usually will do it in that order. If someone really wants to know um, something, sometimes I just happen to review it um, at the right time. So let me know if you've got a preference on that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I hope to see you on the next video. Take care until then and I will be seeing you then. Bye for now.